I feel like I have nothing on. I did almost pretty good. Ooh. You guys can see I'm not so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not so intrigued by it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys his reaction on the concealer. Hi, yes, I'm sweaty. Hi, what's good, what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. What's good, you guys? Welcome to a new video. Ugh. It would be a complete lie if I said I wasn't shy right now because I did not expect to gain over 50, over 50 new Coco family members. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. And one, I got really sick, but <coughs> I know it's been a week since I posted that video and I got really sick so I got really out of it and then I told my husband I was like what do I what do I post I'm nervous to put like what's my next video gonna be about and I eventually I was like okay what's catching my eye what what it's it, what's intriguing me I've been noticing a lot of videos with Maybelline Super State 24 hour hybrid powder foundation I have never used anything like this when I look at these kind of compact foundations I just think about my mom <laughs> growing up I remember her carrying these like Avon no Avon ones or maybe like a lower I don't know just you know I me mean? I don't remember but looking at these I just think about like my mom I did go to CVS to get these the reason I am holding this one up as well which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. <laughs> when I went to CVS, I was like, oh wait, what the heck am I looking for? So this was the first one that I was like, oh wait, is it this one? You know, I seen, I was like, powder foundation, 24 hour. I was like, it's this one. But then I remembered, I was like, no, wait, it's Maybelline. So then I looked, I looked, and I ended up finding this one. And I was like, oh, that is, this is it since i literally realized that they are the similar product just a different brand i thought it would be fun to compare each one because they're both a powder foundation and they're both a 24 hour wear and they're both waterproof and they are different colors cvs didn't have much i ended up going to target at night for like something else and i went to go look and they had a bunch of more colors and they had all of these i went to cvs because i was trying to look for the kimchi powder the puff puff powder or something like that that's another product that has been intriguing me to try out but they had nothing about kimchi so we're here <laughs> i need to moisturize my face my lips because they're hella dry i got the maybelline super stay in the color 312 at target they did have the 220 which in the foundation the fit me powder the fit me foundation i have the 228 and 128 so i was like okay 220 but i got this one in the 220 because it was the only one when i went to target i was like okay this was more of my match because the other one was really light and then really dark and i did take a picture to compare the 220 with the 312 if you can see they're both you know the 220 is way more lighter but i don't know also i did cut myself. i cut myself oh so please ignore that but super quick i am gonna go in and moisturize my face with this Tula 24 hour 24 7 moisture hydrating and night cream day cream night cream right now that I got sick ugh, all of this is so dry and it hurts from like wiping my nose and stuff I'm gonna do what I would normally do if I'm gonna prep my face which is also add some primer I almost forgot i also picked up the concealer i was like how can i do this without trying the concealer with it because this also claims that it's a 30 hour concealer i almost forgot the concealer so i've been using the elf putty primer and i seen a video where they said to use it with a brush so i'm gonna go ahead and try that out today
normally i would just go in with a little bit of foundation or honestly just concealer depending depending what i'm going for i feel like everybody's using the puff should i use the puff good this is a really good mirror yeah. Okay, so color match. Let's see. I'm gonna zoom. Here. Just feels. Just feels like a powder. I forgot to look at the camera. I feel like the color is not too bad. This is nice. I feel like I don't really have anything on. It's not bad. It's super lightweight. I feel like I have nothing on and I feel like it looks like I have nothing on. It says full coverage hybrid foundation. I don't know about full coverage. Let me see if I, I could build it on. Yeah, I don't know about full coverage because I just went over with like a second coat, but very, really quick. My skin looks very airbrushed, so it so far it looks really nice. I feel like I have nothing on. Okay, so I'm excited to see the difference in maybe the texture, of course the color because they're not the same color. Again, it feels pretty powdery, the same texture, just a powder, you know, just like a soft powder. I want to say it almost feels like a bit more softer and creamier than like a powder. So these just feel very softer and more velvety. Okay, um... We're gonna go in with it. This one, the texture, I feel like is a bit more powdery than the Maybelline. Oh. Not that I'm a fan of fragrant makeup or stuff like that, but I just in general love smells and things like that. So when I smelled this, I was like, ooh, it smells good. But it's not something that I really like look for or care about. But when I do smell it, it's like, ooh, mm, it smells good. Oh, you know how like expensive makeup smells really good? Okay, so off the bat, this side is more tanner than this side. So the Maybelline L'Oreal. So far, I do like the Maybelline one a bit better because the L'Oreal one is a bit powdery. Or it's like, I don't want to say it's a bit more dry, which is more, but it is more powdery. It just, it, it looks a bit more heavier on the skin. When I'm touching these, 
This one's way more softer, creamier, velvetier. Even then, I just added another coat of the Maybelline on this side just for fun or right, whatever. And it still looks a bit more softer, skin like. The L'Oreal side just looks very like powdery. Like, it's just the textures. The textures are very, you can tell. It's just like. It's more dry and this one the textures is very more creamy like so far the the Maybelline is is a uh, is winning I did not get the concealer for the L'Oreal the L'Oreal side so we're just gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline for both sides and go along with it <laughs> I'm really curious how the texture is gonna hold with a cream on top of a powdery uh, texture. The concealer's in the number two to 22. Ooh. The smell is pretty strong and it smells a little bit like white out. This smells a little bit like white out, just FYI. Ooh, okay. This stinks. You guys, I something about me is like I am not gonna lie to you guys, and you guys can see it in my face. You can see it like this is strong. And it literally smells like white out. But I kind of want to show you guys the color and the, let me see. See if I did pretty good with the color. This is mine. Oh, I did almost pretty good. Ooh. I love the Tarte Concealer, the Double Duty, Double Duty Beauty. <laughs> I'm in the color 34S Medium Sand. I did pretty good with the color. I ended up getting this concealer last year in the Jeffree Star Mystery Box. It is a yellow corrector, but this is a really good concealer. <laughs> this is the Tarte concealer and this is the Maybelline concealer. I did pretty good. My brain just processed how it says 30 hour wear and how it smells really strong and like it, it smells like I don't want to say <laughs> toxic but just like a really strong fume so I was like whoa what is in it what's in it <laughs> it's not damp but I'm gonna go ahead and I don't love it but I don't hate it And I keep smelling it. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't, I'm not wowed by it. Hmm. It's just, it feels sticky. <laughs> you guys can see I'm not so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not so intrigued by it. <laughs> not to be like Maybelline, but this is the powder I love using. I use, this is, my makeup routine i use the maybelline i use the maybelline brand so i have a little powder in here and i'm just go ahead and use it how i oh i think my i wonder if my husband's here <laughs> he's on his way so i'm gonna show you guys his reaction on the concealer there was like maybe one or two comments that were like oh you should use your husband or your husband right so i was like Come on, here you go. Here, you're welcome. <laughs> they both look pretty similar, like not too bad. Other than the color, I really like how this side turned out. More like my skin tone, just tan. I feel like I almost have nothing on. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my makeup. Let's see how this foundation powder, powder foundation turns out. Is it running a little bit? I think it might be wiping it off. 
also I got inspired with this wild makeup. <laughs> so I was watching in Euphoria. Come, come. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, uh, come, come. Give us your thoughts on this. <laughs> come, go. Oh, well, I got Okay, I mean, so get closer to me so you can at least come. It's on me. It smells like Clinique. Clinique? It smells like. Like face wash? Yeah, it smells like face wash. Top, like. Like. Toner? Yeah. And yeah, like alcohol ish, almost? <laughs> Take another deeper. Jesus, that's hella strong. <laughs> what is that? Why is it so strong? Does that go on your face? <laughs> it's concealer. It? And it's a 30 hour wear. Isn't that too runny? To waterproof. Oh, well, the I waterproof mean, is probably the alcohol. In no, the... I don't know. Actually, I, actually this doesn't state that it's waterproof. It just says 30 hour wear. Versus these, these say sweat proof, waterproof. The does concealer it, doesn't say that. Does it stop smelling like that? Yeah. I don't smell it on my face. To me, look, I said it smells like white out. <coughs> yeah, white out smells like alcohol. Mm hmm. I forgot to do that. Is that all you need? Yes. <laughs> Just to, cause it stink. <laughs> to set this makeup, I'm gonna go in with the Pore Professional Super Setter. <laughs> Final thoughts. Final thoughts, I kind of, other than the color, and I know they're both a bit different, I really like this side a bit better, which is the Maybelline. You guys let me know what you think kind of looks better. They both are very similar, and I know I still need to do the waterproof test. We shall see the waterproof test and see which side, which side is lying. <laughs> just kidding they both look really good they're both lightweight that's why other than the color and this side just looks a bit glowy this side the color looks more toned more even more my skin color i don't know i don't know i kind of like both no i like this side it just looks a bit more glowy it looks more skin just it, it looks like i have nothing on and <laughs> Lunch, four, lunch, five, lunch, six, lunch, seven, one more set, eight, four, 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 four. one more time, go, four, give me that four, come on, mirror image of yourself, do it again, go, walk it out, walk, one, two, walk, keep moving, four, now left leg steps, right leg kicks, ready, we go, and step, two, hi, yes, I'm sweaty, <laughs> I really wanted to test out the whole waterproof. I know it doesn't really say sweatproof, but waterproof, sweatproof. Obviously, I know this doesn't say waterproof on the concealer, but it does say 30 hour wear. If you guys can see, literally, the concealer is running down my face. It stank, so. And then ugh, my sweat is literally in my eye. Oh my god, ow, that fucking really fucking embarrassed. I'm gonna hurry up because my sweat is burning my eyeball. Overall, for the foundation, the powdered foundation, 24 hour. It obviously hasn't been 24 hours. If it wasn't for me sweating or working out or whatever, the overall finish was pretty nice. They do both have pros and cons. This one probably is my favorite because of the finish and how it just looks very soft and skin-like. This one, this one works 
it took me a minute i was like why is this one good this one is good if you need more of a full coverage yes they both say full coverage hybrid powder foundation with long lasting matte finish up to 24 hour wear weightless and comfortable feel blah 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 and this one pretty much just says full matte coverage waterproof 24 hour foundation <laughs> my eyeball yes this one's a bit more full coverage this one leaves a bit more a soft skin like feel and look this one just leaves it a bit more cakey to say right now that i was sweating this side which is the l'oreal side my face started dripping way like it started dripping way quick quicker i guess <laughs> this side was just all sweaty and it started running way quickly and then this one it just felt like it held up a lot nicer the concealer which it just ran on both sides all the other products i have used before and i've always i've, I've worked out with them and this has never happened so just to add that in there comment below if you guys have tried these products before and if you actually use them on your daily life <laughs> your daily life or on your daily routine if you need more full coverage but as you saw it doesn't it doesn't hold up as it doesn't if you if you need it for sweating it ain't gonna work out oh my god this, don't do this Ugh, don't get this don't get this i like this yay that is the end of the video thank you for watching and comment below any other products that you guys would like me to check out and i will see you guys next time bye bit before i go shower which side looks good because people care about your <laughs> care about all my dirty dishes ew the dirty ass background to the right side what what side this this side looks better and y'all heard it here <laughs> what <laughs> Y'all heard that, okay? Y'all heard it. <laughs>